Roberts. Hello, Misty Roberts. Hello, Ike I- Heckert. You can say Isaac. It's hard to say Ike Heckert. Ike is for the fans. Yes, it's true. Well, yesterday was all about paranormal activity. <laughs> and that's over. And today is May 4th. Fourth. May the 4th <laughs> be with you. May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. So we're going to talk about... Star Wars. Star Wars. I knew you would love this episode. Um, I'm going to open it up with a little monologue I've prepared. <laughs> I'm ready. <clears throat> in a, Once upon a time, in a galaxy far, far away. Two podcasters, one from the music business, the other slightly more attractive and a male from the film business decided to get some lightsabers and do a podcast. <laughs> and here we have. We don't have lightsabers. What? Oh, we, excuse me. I don't think we have lightsabers. Um, hey, can we get some lightsabers in here? <laughs> I mean, we're doing the Star Wars episode. I'd be pretty stoked if you gave me a lightsaber. Where's producer Nick? North Carolina. Uh, that's going to be a long trip to bring us some lightsabers. I know. Uh, we got a lot to get into, so let's do Star Wars Day. <clears throat> All right. Um, tell us facts. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and go. Okay, so here's the thing. Yeah, I mentioned that it was May the 4th. May mm-hmm. the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. And you told me that there was a, a story behind May the 4th be with you, and that it's not name Star Wars Day because it's May 4th, if there's something more to that. Yes. Do you want to tell me about that? I don't know the story, and it's not... Oh. It, my, my pre-producer did not put it in my bullet. Well, box. you know what? I'm going to look it up really quick. Hold, okay. Um, I'll go with a fact. All right. Um, the total net worth. We like talking about money on this show. Uh-huh. The total net worth of the entire Star Wars franchise is $25 billion, what? which I think is fun because... When George Lucas sold it, he sold it to Star- to Disney, <laughs> Mickey Mouse, for <laughs> four billion. He sold it for four billion dollars. Holy now, crap! Yeah, isn't that weird? Okay, wow. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, he sold it for four billion, and now it's worth twenty five billion. Well, you know they have um, they put out three more movies since then, five more movies. They put mm-hmm. out episodes seven, eight, and nine. Right. They put out Solo. They put out Rogue One. Right. Um, there's one I'm forgetting. Do not kill us. We're not Star Wars experts. That's Although, true. if you ever get to come to uh, Star Wars Enterprises or Brickyard Media Group, as we like to call it, uh, <laughs> and you take the tour, we have the third largest private collection of Star Wars figurines in the um, middle of Hollywood. It's true. We do. Yeah. <laughs> this entire studio is full of them. Someday I'm going to take them all down and dust them. But not today. But not today. <laughs> we should have put some of them on the walls for Star Wars Day. We sh- in fact, should we start over and just put Star Wars shit on the shelves? No. Yeah, it'd be fun. You're going you're gonna to hang on the no, huh? I, I mean, I, uh, I don't really care one way or the other. Okay. We well, can start over. Nah. Now you're going to have to edit this. Nope. <laughs> What do you think is the most popular Star Wars character? I think that it would be Darth Vader. I agree. Well, I am a uh, Han Solo fan myself. I'm sure you are. Yeah. I I myself am a Yoda fan. I thought you'd be a Princess Leia just based on gender alone. (laughs) You're a girl. You should like girl stuff. Thanks for that. Yes. Um, But, I mean, I... Well, I do like Princess Leia more than anything, more than Princess Leia, though. I like Carrie Fisher. Like, Carrie Fisher was such uh, a badass. R.I.P. So Fisher. So great. I'm glad that they had the foresight to shoot out all of her scenes to complete the movies. So am I. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but no, my, my favorite is Yoda. And mostly probably because of the Mandalorian and the baby Yoda, because that thing's the cutest. It is kind of taking over. It is. Do you know that it actually has um, upstaged... Darth Vader? I did not know that. In popularity. Um, I pulled that fact off the internet. Hey, I'm using the internet right now. Darth Vader was initially the most popular character and has been for a really long time. And Baby Yoda recently ousted him as the most popular character. Well, look at this. Guess what's coming out today? Tell me. Star Wars The Bad Batch comes out today on Disney+. Plus. It's not on this list. I was looking May up upcoming be, oh, Disney. Oh, it is uh, actually right here on this list. <laughs> May the 4th, The Bad Batch. It's an animated series. 
I, I skipped. <laughs> Skip a bit. Okay, so we're getting new segment producers. I, I'm gonna get into this whole Star Wars Day, May the Fourth be with you. Mm-hmm. So May Fourth is associated with the Jedi phrase "May the Force be with you." May Fifth has come to be known as Revenge of the Fifth, oh, which is a play on Star Sith. Wars Episode Three, Revenge of the Sith. Mm-hmm. Uh, May Fifth rep- uh, celebrates the dark side and the Sith Lords, while oh. May Fourth represents the Force. So, if we were the force, yeah, you would, we are the force. You would clearly be the dark side. No, I would definitely be the. I, I was would, like, why would I be the dark I would, side? I, I think I would definitely be the dark side. Can I just be Princess Leia? You didn't want to be Princess Leia a minute ago. No, I just said she wasn't my favorite character. Mm, okay. Yoda is my favorite character. That doesn't mean I have to be mean and well. You know, it's Sith. not. It's not actually. Baby Wait, are Yoda. the Sith the guys that are like uh-huh. black and red? That's one of them. Ooh, I kind of like that actually. But the Those Emperor was a Sith. I don't want to be the emperor. emperor. That's the emperor. Oh, the emperor. That's a lot of responsibility. Well, can I just be a, like a high Sith warrior? Well, I don't think any of them smoked weed. Oh, I didn't mean like that. I meant like high in rank. Oh, like like, loot, a, like, like above in rank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> um, okay. Well, you know what? So you were talking about how we have a lot of the stuff here. Let's talk about figurines. Oh, yeah. That's all we got around here. Because figurines. there are some, here. some crazy facts about figurines. Yeah. I have, okay? I have done some research. Tell me. Oh, not for this episode. Oh, okay. Just on my own because I wanted to see if we had anything worth So you Do you know on. what the most valuable action figure from Star Wars was? I do. Tell right me. off the top of my head, I would say <laughs> that it's the rocket-firing Boba Fett valued no. at $150,000. No. That's the most expensive. Oh. <clears throat> what, what was the question? Well, I guess, I mean, expensive and valuable is pretty much the same. I'll tell you, the, the thing yeah. that needs clarity is that the, the reason it's worth $150,000 is that they made three prototype unpainted rocket firing ones. And Whoa. they never even got packaged. So if you have, and there's only one in existence that still has the original rocket. So th- that's why it's worth a bajillion dollars. Is cause, wow. Yeah, you got, there's a, there's a, you know the our favorite series of documentaries, the movies that made us? <gasps> yes. There's the toys that made us. What? Yeah, there's the toys that made us, and I think they did an episode on Star Wars, or I I've that just consumed that. too much Star Wars information in my lifetime, but should have been on my single for that. <laughs> <It was obvious. laughs> uh, the, there's a bunch of them. So we, I went and cross-referenced all of the toys that we have here. We have the 17th most highly coveted Star Wars collectible of all time. It is a trash can with 17 arms. Out of the packaging, it is worth four dollars. Wait, I'm sorry. It's a trash can with arms. Yes. If and I, what does it come from? What movie? Um, like the original one, two, and three, three, four, five. Oh, so okay. But in the packaging, with the dot on it, where you know where you hang it on the shelves. Yeah. With the dot and the thing, it's like sixteen grand. That's really stupid that it, it has stupid. to not be like poked out to hang on something. It's That's really so dumb. dumb. And there's back to the two. <laughs> um. So the rocket firing Bob Fett, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yep. The double telescoping Obi Wan is seventy six thousand dollars. Well, let me look that up. I want to see a picture of it. But the most popular, oh, of all of them, okay, was a Boba Fett that was created in nineteen seventy nine by the toy company Kenner, and it was the Boba Fett from The Empire Strikes Back. Hmm. But that, so that's, that's and that's the one that like more people wanted. It had more um, demand. Yeah, they sold the most of. It was the most popular. And that's the same one um, that of the prototype that I was just talking about. Cool. That's why the that one was worth that. What am I looking up? The trash can. Yeah. I'm never gonna find it. Yeah, because I don't know what the trash can was. Most valuable. It's not actually a trash can. It just looks like one. Star. Wars collectibles. Okay. I'm going to have to send you a link because you got the mm-hmm. 14 of the most fabulous, the rarest, most expensive coveted Star Wars. Yep. Denofgeek.com. Yep. Are you on that one already? I am not, but I was when I was looking these um, figures up the other day. When I was doing research. Seriously, you guys. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can find it. Mm. Oh, there's Han Solo. Hmm. Han Solo Han in a box. Solo. Han Solo with little head and blaster. Wow, that's worth four grand. Yeah, that's a big deal because yeah, I was reading about that one. 
I don't um, really understand why they made a Han Solo with a little head. Did his head get shrunk at some point? Oh, here's the one you're talking about. Boba Fett figures. The one in the box still is a, a worth up to 50 grand. Wow. And the one, yep, the one with the figurine. Oh, here's a weird one. Vlix action figure mint on card. Um, why don't you Vlix? send me that link so that I can pull these up and show people what they look like? Bingo, bingo. Here we are texting each other on camera, folks. It's true. It's riveting. Boy, there's some inappropriate anime stuff playing in the corner of this. <laughs> then maybe we won't. How about we talk about some of the upcoming Star Wars stuff? Because there's some pretty exciting stuff. I just texted that link to Travis Knight. I was going to say, I have yet to receive that and link. And there you go, Misty Roberts. <laughs> Shout out, Travis. What's up, Travis? So there's some really cool stuff coming up yeah, in Star Wars land. There is. Um, as you mentioned, there's the... Today, the animated series, The Bad Batch. The Bad Batch. <laughs> but there is a whole bunch of scripted stuff coming out that seems real cool. Scripted as in <laughs> like not animated? Yeah, or like, like scripted with like, people. Like actual Disney Plus series oh, like live, The Mandalorian. Live, live action. action. Yeah. So The Book of Boba Fett, mm -hmm. December 21st at Christmas time. Is that a show or a movie? It's a show. Okay. So here's all the TBA stuff that's coming out that are series. Okay. So. Oh, we were just talking we about We were, series. and that's why I looked this up. Yeah. Yeah. So there's Ahsoka. Okay. Um, Rangers of the New Republic. That's my favorite. Andor. Mm-hmm. A show about Obi Obi Wan Kenobi. They announced the cast the other day. Did you see it? I did. Oh, do you have a picture of the cast? I don't. I'm um, gonna get it. There's the Acolyte. But here's the one I'm very excited about. Okay. Lando. Oh, yeah. An entire series about Lando Calrissian. Is it going to be uh, the guy who played it in Han, in Han they don't, and Solo? Well, it's not going to be Billy Dee Williams or Donald Glover. So they're saying that there's the possibility that they may show them in flashbacks, flash forwards, whatever. Mm -hmm. But they haven't actually uh, casted who's going to play Lando yet. Okay, listen to this cast. Okay. For um, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Mm -hmm. Hayden Christensen. Yep. Forrest Whitaker. Yep. Colin Murdoch. Yep. John Favreau. He's probably going to be the executive producer. John Favreau. Ewan McGregor comes back. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Jim Cummings. Taya Sikar. Sarkar. Sarkar. And then a bunch of people. Uh, Liam. Whoa. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. He's Look, the greatest. Looks like uh, Dave Filoni's going to be helping out again with executive producing. I'm kicking stuff over. There's all kinds of people in this thing. Well, I'm going to tell you something really, really exciting. All right. Season three of The Mandalorian goes into production soon. I know. But we were just talking about that. Because I'm going to work on it. Shut up. <laughs> if you are, you need to bring me a baby. I Yoda. have been cast... I want a Baby Yoda all of my own. Baby Yoda also. Would you like to hear my Baby Yoda also voice? I would, actually. I got Baby Yoda also. <laughs> you stupid. Also Baby Yoda, guys. You heard it here first. That was not Baby Yoda at all. Oh, no, I said it wrong. I, I too, am Baby Yoda. <sighs> you, are, you just ruined it all for I'm, me. No. It's, uh, I'm I very excited about it. I can't talk about it. Okay. I can't talk about it. Well, you know that there are some new Star Wars movies coming out, too. Yeah. There are, well, yeah. So there's Rogue Squadron, which is slated to come out December 23rd, 2022. Now. I can't wait that long. Here's one that I'm super excited about. Okay. There is an untitled Ryan Johnson trilogy. Stop it. Ryan Johnson did Knives Out. Well, he also did a Star Wars movie. Oh, I didn't know that. Which one did he do? He did episode eight. Oh, I'm a, I'm I'm a originalist. I'm a truist. No, you're not. You're just, it, you're just yes, an I uninformedist. Am. No, I I haven't. He's very close to the canon, and he yes. That's awesome. Well, they have announced an entire tri a new trilogy. Um, Which is interesting. It's, because it's supposed to have new characters from other parts of the universe right. that have been unintroduced. So as of smart. Yet. So smart. But here's another one that I'm very intrigued by. Does this go on a second page? It doesn't. Okay. Patty Jenkins has an untitled Star Wars movie who just recently directed Wonder Woman 1984. Yeah. So I'm very intrigued because we discussed this before. 
I was not, I was slightly disappointed in Wonder Woman 1984. Well, you know what? I was about to ask you that. I was a little, um, I felt like it was way too long. Yeah, but everything in the DC universe goes it's too long. Long. I mean, we, I agree. we both saw the Zack Snyder cut. Well, the Zack Snyder cut's a whole different spectrum all of its own. There's so many reasons behind that and whatever. We shouldn't pollute our Star Wars episode. We shouldn't. Zack we shouldn't. Snyder's but I'm really filth. interested to see. I I liked the Zack Snyder cut. I'm interested to see what Patty Jenkins would do with a Star Wars movie. Because I do like what well, she has done with the character of Wonder Woman itself. I agree. So, I agree. I what, like the character development. What that I've I'll seen say in it. is, I think she'll have an opportunity to make a vastly superior film with the support of Disney. I agree. In a studio structure that's well more organized, yeah. that has their canon well more outlined, and um, yeah. a support. I, I, you know, I'm gonna, how many times can I say support in this sentence? But I think she has the opportunity to make a much better film. Yeah. At at, at Disney than yep. DC. I couldn't agree more. But, so, but. I'm going to look right in the camera for this one. Patty, if you fuck this up. Right? You're done. You're done. You and Ryan. Yeah. Well, Either of you fuck these up. Ryan, Ryan, you know, n- number eight's not a lot of people's favorite. So Which one is that? Like what? Uh, it's, right, it's, it's, it's funny because you can tell it's the one right between seven and nine. That's how numbers <laughs> work. Yes. Uh, it's the one. I was asking. It's the one where they have the charge through the casino. Oh. With the, all the... Yeah, it's not my favorite. It's not. It's not even my favorite. Like, here's the thing. I didn't even know that he did that one. The, I really didn't know that he did that The middle one. of a tr- any trilogy is always the... That's true. Like, yeah. The middle I mean, the the, it's... Yeah. The two it's towers. a huge conversation yeah. in... It, yeah. Amongst filmmakers. Like, how... It's just yeah. like... It's just like albums, the sophomore slump. Yeah. It's... You always call it the sophomore slump. Like, it's very rare that somebody releases the second one that's better than the first. Well, I'll tell you what. It's even worse when you don't know it's a trilogy. Yeah. Like the second yeah. Jurassic Park that came out, the new one where they get on the boat and the yeah. thing changed. I talk about this on almost every episode. The size of the dinosaurs changes. Yep. And oh. it drives me nuts. Yep, I don't like that either. So whoever directed that can eat a bag of rocks. Well, since it's not Friday. May the force be with you. <laughs> May the fourth be with you. Bye, everybody. Happy Star Wars Day. Happy Star Wars Day, guys. Tune in tomorrow for an episode about Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo.